So in this video, I'm going to talk about mixed methods research designs. Now, here are three core designs that are used in mixed methods uh, research. Now, this is not, <laughs> not at all exhaustive of the types of designs in mixed methods research, uh, but these are the core designs and we can make it a lot more complex from here. So we can change all sorts of aspects about these designs uh, to make lots of different types of very creative methodologies. Uh, but here, I just want to introduce these three um, types of designs. Uh, so starting with convergent parallel mixed methods. Um, so in a convergent parallel design, you're conducting the qualitative and quantitative phases all at the same time. Um, so there might be a quantitative component of the study and a qualitative component of the study, and both are being conducted separately, and both are considered to be of equal value and equal weight, um, and they're both analyzed separately. And then at the end of the study, when you've, con when you've completed the qualitative and quantitative phases, then you would integrate those results and, and hopefully they would complement one another. That's the idea of that type of methodology. An explanatory sequential mixed methods model, uh, it's in the name. It's sequential, meaning that one phase happens after the other, and it's for the purpose of explaining. Um, so in this type of methodology, you would start with the quantitative phase. You would start with the quantitative component of your study. So you're testing some hypothesis and uh, conducting your quantitative study. And then based on your findings, you might want to follow that up with a qualitative phase to help explain the findings from the quantitative phase. Okay, so in this case, you're starting with quantitative and then to explain the results of your quantitative study, you are following it up with a qualitative component uh, to get more insight into your findings and what happened. And then you, at the end, would integrate both the quantitative and qualitative to try to answer whatever was your research question. Exploratory sequential mixed methods is the opposite. Um, so an exploratory, it's exactly what it sounds like. You are starting by exploring a topic and your qualitative and quantitative are happening sequentially one after the other. In this case, you're starting with the qualitative component because maybe it's a relatively new area of study. Maybe you don't know enough yet to, to produce a hypothesis for your quantitative study. Uh, so in some cases, you might want to explore the topic first uh, with a qualitative phase, and then using what you learn in that qualitative exploratory phase, you can then follow it up with your quantitative phase because now you know more and you can base your hypothesis on more than what you had to work with before you collected that qualitative data. Okay, so exploratory, you're starting by exploring with a qualitative phase and then digging a little deeper and testing a hypothesis during the quantitative phase based on what you learned in the first phase. And then of course, at the end, we would integrate the qualitative and quantitative data um, to support our conclusions. All right, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.